Gary, what was the first practice like today? Just having new coaches and everybody down. All right, questions for Gary? Uh, I mean, try to treat it as business as usual. Um, we can, can, you know, we got to control what you can control. For me personally, that's what I just kind of try to preach to our guys as a leader. Um, you know, there's a lot of outside factors. You know, new coaches, new plays, a lot of new stuff going on. Um, just focus on what you can do. Uh, you know, attitude, effort-wise, um, control that. You feel like you've always been a, a vocal guy, a spoken guy, but do you, do you feel like you're in a, in a different role with the the number of seniors that have left your, on your side of the ball? Yeah, uh, last year there's a ton, like you said, a ton of seniors. Um, you know, I, I try to help where I could and whatever they tried me to, uh, told, told me to do. Uh, this year with, you know, a limited amount of seniors, um, you know, I uh, step in that role as a leadership guy on, on defense and as a team and uh, try to do the best I can. I noticed your voice is missing a little bit there. Do you give a, a passionate welcome to spring football? <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, during mad drills, I lost it yelling at dudes, getting excited. Like you said, try to be vocal. So <laughs> kind of embracing that fully right now. What are those like? You know, it looks like it looks like some version of fun being out there early in the morning and, and doing a tug of war or pulling out a fire or whatever. It's yeah, nice. yeah. I mean, um, with everything going on uh, in the world, especially in in the past with the team and just fo- you know Nebraska football, the eternal optimist in me always comes out. Um, you know, you got to be out there. It's, it's supposed to be fun. You're supposed to be having fun with your boys, playing football. That's what it's all about. That's why we started as little kids. So, you know, doing your job, doing it the best of your ability, giving 100% effort and loving what you're doing with the people you're with is, you know, the biggest thing uh, that I try to say as a leader and guys on defense, you know, you love what you're doing with the people you, you know, you love. It's things get pretty easy and trying to be that guy to start that wave is uh, something I've been trying to get done. Garrett, from your point of view, what does the defense need to accomplish? Be uh, obviously, like you said, those seniors left and uh, having some young guys step up uh, into those shoes, um, you know, get that chemistry back all together. Uh, you know, bulk of our experiences with our linebackers, uh, you need, those interior D linemen guys need to uh, need to step up, uh, get get a leader or two in that in that spot, um, and then DBs have that back end figure yourself out. Uh, once you figure that out, get that chemistry back and and uh, play to our standard that we've set. Difference between day one this year and day one last year, the feel of I mean, new coaches obviously on the offensive side. To be honest with you, I don't really remember much. <laughs> I hit a lot of dudes, kind of forget some things, but uh, overall, like you said, with those new coaches, kind of that mentality that we have is a little, it's just kind of that new feeling, you know what I'm saying? Um, but try not to focus on that, trying to focus on what we can do as a defense uh, with the guys we're with trying to figure everything out depth wise you know who's going where and how they play and what's going on um that's that's i guess that's a new feeling i'm guessing there's always urgency but is there more urgency this time around where you're at in your your career where the team's at yeah for for me defensively wise that black shirt standard we always have that sense of urgency of getting better and you know getting to where we're going um it's really you know, me personally as a player that I need to spread to the rest of the guys on the team. Then there's been two, d- tons of dudes that helped me. It's just that overall sense of urgency of getting better and trying to perform to your best every play and every rep. And uh, I guess that, that new feeling of that um, over- overwhelming wave that we're bringing in, uh, you know, both sides of the ball is, is something new, which is nice. Is there much difference for you meeting them wise with my, I mean, it seems like Mike Dawson's responsibilities have shifted a little bit. Like, are you all meeting as one? Group now, defensive lineman, you guys. Yeah. Um, you consider yourself a defensive lineman, or you can call me whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, having the same voice for that that front four. You know, getting the same vocabulary, getting the same plan of what we want to do. Uh, you know, having that vocabulary just kind of be consistent through the whole group instead of having two two voices is really nice with the with the flow of everything. Um, you know, when it comes to game time. In, into the fall with plans we want to do, how we want to attack things. I, I think that's going to help a ton, just having one voice. Um, and, you know, Dawson, uh, <laughs> with, with the shifting responsibilities, I, I don't think he, he can handle He'll be fine. I mean, he's been doing this longer than I've been alive, so I'm not worried about it. We got a peek at uh, Blaze at the end of last year, and uh, Damari's a guy who came up a little bit good in conversation. What, what do you feel about, like, those guys and pushing depth and where you are as far as kind of building a full room there? 
that yeah. spot. Yeah, we, I mean, obviously we're blessed as a position group to have that depth. Blaze and Jamar, I mean, Caleb. Um, those guys have done a phenomenal job, you know, from that young guy transition to getting reps in games and looking really good right now. Uh, springtime is huge for them to improve their play, getting a ton of reps. Um, I'm, I have, I can put them on. I would put them on the field right now. They have full confidence in them. They're great guys and great players, and they they hold them hold themselves to a huge standard like we try to do as a defense. What's next for you personally? You've kind of talked about the general defense and stuff. What do you want to do individually that you can where you can take your game up a notch? You think? Uh, mm-hmm. Just being more consistent on that pass rush side. Um, you know, being in that elite edge defender in the Big Ten. Um, not not even in the run game, but just pass game as well. Um, keeping that part of the game with the run defense that I had last year. But um, personally, as a player, just with that pass rush and uh, getting consistent and being in the backfield and being that presence. Garrett, in practice, you've chased the same quarterback here for the last three years. you got a couple new ones out there today. What, what, what did those guys bring just from your perspective? They're still fast, so maybe I'm just slow. I don't know. But uh, they uh, – they do, they do, they do, the first day they did a really good job. Um, Logan and uh, Casey stepping up, and obviously Heinrich and Chuba and all those dudes. Uh, I don't know the rotation or what they have, but um, definitely different feels. You know, Logan likes to run. Casey might stay in there. Heinrich can throw, sling it around. So just kind of knowing who you're going against, who you're rushing against every uh, every series is is huge. Uh, each of those guys have different strengths and weaknesses. Obviously, everybody does. Um, but it's uh, yeah, it's definitely a different vibe when somebody's back there. Different now. So you're a pretty intense guy. How do you balance that with knowing that more guys are leading up to you or looking up to you now? Do you, do you have to dial that back at all, you think? Uh, just being a smart leader. You know, obviously I can't be yelling all the time. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, part of being a leader is teaching, you know, young guys, hey, you know, be confident in yourself. Trust yourself when you make these calls. Break on the ball and know that you're, you know, getting to the ball. Run all the time. Just, you know, really simple standard things that, you know, make a great defense. Uh, make great players is just because uh, I, I remember when I, being young for me, I, you know, being out there having no idea what's going on, and you're expected to make these huge plays. Um, just helping guys that transition and getting that out of that mental space is being confident in yourself. Just play, be free, you know, go have fun, uh, you know, and obviously with that standard that we have. So, how do you instill confidence in those guys? Just reinforce it. I mean, obviously, when you're out there and you're hearing it from, you know, leader or different guys, like, hey, man, you got it. Don't worry about it. You know, they're, they're not going to be questioning themselves when they make a call or a break or something like that. You didn't get a lot of additions at your particular position, but how does this sort of portal era where, especially in the secondary, for example, a lot of new guys popped in and you, there's new faces on your defense. Does that add a little boost, you know, going into the winter conditioning with new faces or, or what's that like? All these new guys. Yeah, I mean, I'm still trying to figure it out as a player. It's a little different. It's kind of like, kind of like pro now. You might bring in, you know, free agent guys or whatever. But uh, you know, bringing in some more bodies, guys leaving, coming, going. Uh, it's, it's. We're, I'm like I said, still navigating it as a player. Um, I'm guessing there's probably gonna be some new faces, you know, by f- fall. So. Anything else from here? What have you seen from Bill Tanner? Uh, from obviously you saw what he could do last year, and he's improved on that. Um, getting more weight on him and being more consistent. Uh, he, he's done a great job turning a leaf in the sense of doing everything right, every play. Um, this, the coaching, the coach ability has everything. He's he's improved and done as a player, as a person. All good. All right. Thank you, Garrett. We'll have Nick Henrich next. Happy to see you guys. <laughs>